So, Season 1 is upon us. Diablo 4 Season 1 is going to be here in exactly 12 days. So, I'm going to go over my tips to help you better prepare for Season 1 to get ready to do the Season of Corruption. Do all the malignants, because people keep telling me it's maligants, and you guys are all wrong, but it's called malignants. And what to do to prep for that season. So... First and foremost, as we are continuing to level and have some fun here in Blind Burrows, these are things that I think everybody should do. The first and foremost uh, thing that you need to do, we're just going to jump straight into this, is completing the campaign. Okay, you need to complete the campaign. The campaign is something that everybody should do before jumping into a new realm. Okay, this includes doing hardcore characters currently here in the preseason, and this also includes going into the seasonal realm, as it were, for Diablo 4. So by completing the season, you're going to be able to skip the season on any new character, which is why I'm my rogue here in softcore in the Eternal Realm. That you see the map is undiscovered. I haven't really done anything. I haven't even teleported to even the main... Uh, teleports or like cities and explored anything so that's why you see this and we all we have been doing is leveling our characters so first and foremost complete the campaign the reason for this is because you're going to be able to skip it going into seasons and if you do make a hardcore character okay i have a hardcore rogue i was able to skip the season or excuse me skip the campaign and just go right into whatever i wanted to do in sanctuary in the open world so you need to complete the campaign it's actually quite astonishing that the game has been out for over a month and there's still a majority of players that haven't completed it so please make sure to do that tip number two okay is we are going to be doing our renown okay you need to complete your renown you need to do all of your renown okay now when i say renown you should complete everything up to level five okay this includes completing all of your altars of lilith number one completing all of your altars of lilith is the biggest part of this entire tip because this tip is really like three or four tips completing all of the altars the reason you want to complete all of your altars is because it gives you stat bonuses stat bonuses are plus five strength plus three strength plus four you know um willpower plus two intelligence etc right you get all of these for unlocking your altars of lilith very very important next completing all your dungeons all your strongholds unlocking all your waypoints that way you go up in these levels to get to level five to get you bonus paragon points the reason you want to max out at level five is because you're going to get 10 skill points five extra pots and you're going to get 20 total paragon points going through each of the five zones all of this is going to transfer over to other characters in the eternal realm now the reason that we're going to talk about what going into the season you if you have not completed all the way up to level five what you do need to complete is again all of your altars of lilith and then you need to discover the entire map the entire map needs to be discovered. Okay, you can see right now on my rogue, I have not explored the entire map. The reason that you want to do this is for two reasons. One, the fog of war, as you guys can see here, will be uplifted. The fog of war, if you don't know, is this fog where you do not know what is underneath it until you explore it. Right? Once you explore it, you get this part here where the, the map portion is explored and you can see what's there. This includes the waypoints, dungeons, etc events all of these things that are going on if you explore the entire map making a new character in the internal realm hardcore or going into the new season the fog of war will be lifted very very important two by discovering every single area and completing every altar of lilith these points are going to go over into the season as a portion of your renown that you do not have to do again so any altars that you find will also be permanently marked on the map. The fog of war will be lifted and you will also have to, you will also be able to uh, have these points transfer over. Now you're going to ask, well, what points transfer over? Well, let me explain. Once you transfer points over, 
What will transfer over is, see how each altar of Lilith is 10 points? So let's say you completed all 34 here. That's 340 points, right? That's a lot of points. The altar of Lilith points, as well as the area discovered, which is 56 areas at five points apiece, these points are going to convert over into seasons. So as the dev said during their dev stream a couple days ago, the what you're going to have if you have all of that completed on a brand new level one character in season one. So you'll have all of your stat bonuses from completing your altars of Lilith. You will have five extra potions in the map. So you'll have all five pots increased. So you'll have nine and you'll have five total points. Okay. So you're not going to have enough to get to 10 total points, but you're going to have enough renown points to get almost to level three, which then makes it a lot easier to where all you have to do is strongholds dungeons, and then a few side quests as well as waypoints to complete and fill out your renown. This makes your character super, super strong going into the next season. So complete your renown, complete all of your areas discovered, unlock the entire map for sure, and get all of your altars done at a minimum. If you can complete everything else to get to level five, it'll help you in the long run. So you never have to do it again. Okay. Now outside of that, these are some personal tips that I think are going to be really, really important. First and foremost is, is once you do all that on July 18th, the patch is going to go live. You need to log in with whatever character that you are, you have the most progress with. So for example, I have a level 100 Druid. I have everything unlocked. I have all the renown complete. So on July 18th, I want to log in with that character. So that way, all of those bonuses will transfer over for the season. So you have to do that Two, These are my personal ones. Okay. To me, I would say play a brand new class for me. I am a Druid main, although I have played every single class. I want to get every class to 100. I have a level 100 sorcerer and I have a level 100 druid. So I either want to play rogue, barbarian, or necromancer. So I have not only a brand new experience going into the season, I'm going to be able to play a brand new class in depth all the way to level 100, no matter what. So I definitely encourage you to try something like that, especially with these hearts of, or the malignant hearts, which are going to really take your classes and builds to a whole nother level. I definitely encourage you to play something either new, or if you have played every single class or multiple classes, play something opposite. So if you've been playing like barbarian and druid, for example, then I would say just play, you know, a ranged class, like play rogue, play, play a sorcerer, like a long range sorcerer with ice shards, play a penetrating shot rogue, like really switch it up. So you're doing something different. So you get to really maximize that new experience. Okay. So outside of that, guys, those are my tips to help you prep for season one. Okay. We got a brand new season come up. The uh, malignant hearts is the new theme and I'm really, really excited about it. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to play. Let me know what you guys are going to play down in the comments below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming and get that prep work done so you don't have to ever do it again. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.